We were hoping to have an eruptive night last night. We were. It didn't happen. It didn't happen. <laughs> I'm Paul. I'm James. And of course, our travel companion, Chompers. We are camping at Crystal Geyser in Utah. Crystal Geyser is located on Bureau of Land Management land, just south of Green River, Utah. It really is a short drive off the highway, but a little bit of a bumpy one. We had to take it quite slow. Probably not difficult. We are, last. you know, in our C-Class. I'm not sure if an A might be thrilled about driving down here, but a trailer or a C-Class or certainly tent camping and car camping. Absolutely. And we were lucky nobody else camped here last night, so mm. we had the place to ourselves. This is a beautiful, beautiful area right along the river. And as you can see from the video, there is a geyser that randomly interrupts. Now, we've been here for how long? How many hours? We got here 3 p.m. and it's about, so we've been here in 12 plus nine. 17 hours, <laughs> we can do 18, <laughs> 21 hours. 21 hours, somewhere around there and it still hasn't, um, it still go. hasn't erupted. Uh, we were at the, we were ready to go out all night waiting for it to erupt, but as you can see, it's really a beautiful area located right next to the Green River in a valley of beautiful red rock formations. When we woke up this morning and looked down the geyser, it was gurgling a lot more, so we've been anxiously waiting the last two or three hours for it to do something. Hopefully during our video it's gonna blow, but let's just see. But uh, we keep hoping. We were very fortunate nobody was here this morning last night. Like Paul said, we camped here alone and no um, locals were even here yet to come and visit the geyser. I did a really, I thought was a beautiful yoga class in this beautiful setting with all this energy from the earth. So we'll see a link there somewhere, right? So we talk a lot about boondocking on BLM land and what the heck does all that mean? Well. BLM land is Bureau of Land Management land. We own That's this. right. You own this land. And you can actually just camp wherever you want on BLM land. You set up your own camp and you're boondocking. Obviously there are no hookups or anything like that, but uh, sometimes there are little, people make little fire rings out of uh, rocks and stuff. We were able to have a fire last night, but it is very cool to go off and boondock. So it we is. always search for these places. And it's also free. So if you're traveling, it can be a great cost average between the camps that you're paying for. And we want to do a shout out to our good friend Ben Starr who told us about this place and joined us on this. It was a great it's find for us and we totally recommend it. Yeah. My favorite subject. Connectivity. Connectivity. Connecting things. All. So we are on BLM land. We are pretty remote uh, and so cell coverage is kind of sketchy. I could not get any Verizon. Uh, we got a little bit of AT&T and a little bit of T-Mobile but we really had to hike up on top of some cliffs to get good coverage. So if you are wanting to have a place for coverage, this isn't the place unless you enjoy hiking up and having some great views while you have cell coverage. So just like Mother Nature, you cannot predict anything. Nope. On average, they have scheduled that this erupts eight to 20 hours, in, within eight to 20 hours, and can erupt for hours and hours on end. Well, you know how long we've been here, so then... <laughs> 12 plus 20, 9. 21. So it's not happening. It's going to happen as soon as we pull away. I'm but sure it is. If you're in the area, even if it doesn't erupt while you're here, coming and seeing the beautiful color and all the sulfur remains and what's happening, the oxidization to all the stones around here and see how much water is It's just a lovely, lovely setting. Bring some kind lunch. Of a, kind of a lunar landscape. A lot of locals drive yeah. here, hang around for a while, cross their fingers to see some action. If not, you leave, but you still are left with some really, really nice, beautiful images for sure. So. If you're in this area in Utah and you have some time to ride off the beaten path, we do encourage in Crystal Geyser. Green, I got this, Green River, just south of Green River on a dirt road. Check it out. It is on Google Maps. It's on Campendium. It's easy to find. So check it out and spend the night here. We did. And as usual, if you want to like and subscribe and hit the notification bells, you're going to hear more of our antics as per usual. If we see you on the road, we want to make sure you're driving safely. So. Take care, everybody out there. Thanks for watching. Travel safe. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.